Just a quick recap. Sets are just a way of grouping things together. In our case, numbers. Let's look at the set A with the elements 0, 1 and 2. How do we determine all the subsets of set A? A subset of the set A is a set which contains elements of set A. Let's list the empty set first, because it's a subset of any set. You can also write it as the slash zero, which has the same meaning. The empty set contains no elements. Every set is a subset of itself. So we have the set A as a subset of itself. In addition to these two subsets of A, we have the subset with the element zero, the subset with the element one, the subset with the element two, the subset with the elements zero and one, the subset with the element zero and two, and the subset with the elements 1 and 2. Hence I can write for example the empty set is a subset of the set A. Or I can write the set with the elements 1 and 2 is a subset of A. A proper subset is where not every element from A is included in the subset. You can show that by removing the line from the subset symbol, which would look like this. The set with the element 2 is a proper subset of A. Or the set with the elements 1 and 2 is a proper subset of A. So these are not only subsets of A, these are proper subsets of A, in addition to set A itself. Let's look at another example for subsets and say we have the set of integers which look like this. The set of whole numbers is a subset of the set of integers because all of the elements of the set of whole numbers are included in the set of integers. We can even say that the set of whole numbers is a proper subset of the set of integers. Another example is that the set of natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers are all considered subsets and even proper subsets of the set of real numbers. I just wanted to add something interesting about subsets here. Two sets are equal if they have all of the same elements in them, like A and B.
another way to ensure that A and B are equal is to ensure that set A is a subset of B. and B is a subset of A. So these both sets are equal. Let's move on to the union and intersection of sets and look at the set A, which contains the elements 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Set B contains the elements 6, 7, 8 and 9. What is the union of these two sets? To find the union, you have to find out which elements are in either A or B or both. In other words, we have to combine these two sets into a larger set. So both sets contain the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. We can write this now with the union symbol and say the union of A and B contains the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Notice that we don't write the common numbers 6 and 7 twice, only once. With the VIN diagram, which is nothing more than an illustration of the sets, we can visualize the result of the union of sets. What we have to do is to draw a circle for set A, and a circle for set B and put these circles together. The union is everything within these two circles. So the union contains the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. The intersection is in the middle where the circle A and B intersect. The intersection is a set of elements that are in both set A and in set B. We can write this with the intersection symbol and say the intersection A and B contains the elements 6 and 7. It looks like this in two different Venn diagrams. Let's try another example and find the union and intersection between sets C and D. That's very easy again. For the union, just write the numbers from C and D. We have a 1, a 2, a 3 and a 4. These are all the numbers when we combine the sets C and D. That's it. For the intersection, we have only the element 3. This is the only element which set C and D have in common. The union in the Venn diagram is again represented by everything within these two circles. And the intersection in the middle, which is where the elements have both sets in common. Here's another example. Let's say set E contains the numbers 1 and 2 and set F contains the numbers 
3 and 4. Feel free to pause the video and try to find the union and intersection between E and F. It's just like before, write all the numbers from set E and F in the union. But what about the intersection of the two sets? Which elements are shared by these two sets? The Venn diagram looks like this. The intersection of the two circles is empty because these sets have no elements in common. Let's say set G contains the numbers 1, 2 and 3 and set H is an empty set. What is the union and intersection of these sets? Because there are no elements in the empty set, the union of these both sets is just the elements of the set H. What about the intersection? Feel free to pause the video and take your time to think about it. Be careful, the intersection of these two sets is the empty set, because these two sets have nothing in common. The Venn diagram looks like this. The last thing I want to focus on is the complement of a set. Sometimes the circles in the Venn diagrams are enclosed in a rectangle, which represents the universal set which can contain, just as an example, the real numbers. Let's draw a circle that represents a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3. Then the complement of the set is all of the elements in the rectangle, or in other words, the real numbers but without the elements of set A. The symbol for the complement of set A is the letter A with a line above it. This is the Venn diagram for the complement of set A. Remember, for the complement of a set we always need a universal set, so we know which elements are in the complement. Again, the complement of set A are all the elements in the universal set except for the elements of set A. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. This video is what I did for you. If you want to do something for me, hit the bell button, share and subscribe. Happy learning everyone!